my name is Moses Muya, uh, the regional coordinator, North Rift region. Uh, it's only been a month and a few months and some weeks uh, on the position. And uh, it's truly exciting for me to be in this position. And I'm really liking what I'm doing currently. Uh, well, um, I'd never imagined that I would be an RC uh, in Kiare because uh, when I look at my area of specialization, which is uh, in uh, supply chain, logistics, and administration, and of course, uh, facilities management, it's an area which is so, you know, a bit different from uh, regional coordination, but uh, it came as a surprise, and I took it positively, and uh, I've been able to really adjust within the shortest time. And I realized that, uh, you know, a change is it's, it's always welcome. And I realized that it's a thing I would have uh, actually started doing much earlier. Covering such an area, uh, much as it looks so big, it's quite exciting, very fulfilling, because uh, really you're looking at uh, all ranges of, you know, uh, uh, types of uh, terrains in Kenya from the large green in uh, Wasingishu to the dry areas of Baringo, all the way in, uh, to the north, uh, the Trukana up to Lokichogyo. So it, 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 it's a good thing. The role of an RC is, uh, I would say, is um, an encompassment of all activities which uh, KRA does. If I may just break them down, you're looking at uh, revenue mobilization, it comes on top of uh, an artist's responsibility. Uh, there's a lot of uh, stakeholder engagement because for us in the region to be able to deliver, we have to work with stakeholders, you know, from the county governments, the national government representatives, the security organs, you know, uh, trade organizations like, uh, you know, like the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, farmers, societies, you know, all these are our stakeholders. Uh, and of course, not forget the business people. So the RC is very key in coordinating that function. Again, um, uh, an RC has got the responsibility of, uh, of course, providing leadership at uh, the regional level, uh, coaching. We are the coaches. And of course, supported by our, I'm, uh, I'm supported by my teams. I got a responsibility to make sure that the work environment suits my staff in the region so that they can perform as expected. Then, of course, facilitation, because uh, staff have got to collect uh, revenues out there. And so they look upon me to provide them with uh, mobility. I'm talking of fleets, I'm looking at security, and all these other things. It's a matter of creating that concerted uh, way of working with the security organs in the region so that you can also continue collecting revenue amid, in, in, the, in the midst of these challenges. You know, when you're young, you, you, you really, we don't define uh, at least what you want to do, what you want to be. Maybe you want to be an accountant here and there. In my old and day, I mean, my, when I was starting my career, actually I trained in accounting. So I was looking at being this uh, financial controller somewhere, CFO somewhere. But then, of course, midway, uh, when supply chains and logistics came on board, uh, I very quickly switched from that area uh, of accounting into uh, logistics and supply chain and facilities management. And that now, that's what is defining my uh, career at the moment. During the course of my career, of course, I've been in the private sector for a long time. Um, and when I joined KRA in 2017, I knew for sure that, uh, and of course, when you look at, and I look at my age, for sure, I know I got a very, a limited amount of time uh, to the retirement age of 60. And so uh, with no intention of getting out of the authority, my dream job would be the, uh, I'm looking at a commissioner job and probably the commissioner general, who knows? Sky is the limit. A good question. Um, I started as an accountant, as I said. Um, 
my first job was at uh, Uchumi Supermarkets way back in 1998. And uh, of course, I was there for quite a long time. I did, uh, you know, I was in, I was in various departments. Uh, we had a roving program, so I would be in uh, HR, I would be in, uh, in uh, procurement, would be logistics, inventory control, which was quite an exciting way of, uh, you know, uh, doing the job then. Uh, then later on, I would uh, get into a management role with one of uh, the clearing and forwarding firms in the country as a manager in charge of procurement and warehousing, uh, security and ICT. Uh, again, it's a job I did for about three years. And then I left and joined uh, the United Nations. Uh, the United Nations, I started at, uh, you know, at the commissary. Uh, I was head of supply chain. And then of course, uh, I coordinated supply chain operations for some 13 countries for the commissary uh, segment. And then I moved into you know, uh, humanitarian operations where uh, I was posted to Trukan. It was my first posting in the field. It was very, very um, stressful to be posted to Trukan as a young man, you know. And uh, later on, I, I really came to love the job. For quite some time, almost six years, I was working in Trukana as head of logistics, worked in Wajia. I said on logistics as well, worked in Garissa, worked in Tana River, uh, and some parts of uh, the, the East Africa region, including Somal Somalia, South Sudan, and Burundi. And uh, yeah, it was quite exciting. Then uh, I would later join the Regional Bureau of Western Central Africa, uh, still in the UN, coordinating now supply chain and logistics for countries, including the Kenya office and uh, uh, Kenya office, South Sudan, and Burundi. Uh, it was again very exciting uh, of, uh, carrying out that role at the regional level. Yeah, and to be you know, specifically at the UN, I was working in the World Food Program. Later on, I would move to I moved to Maristops as a deputy director in charge of logistics and supply chain, uh, ICT, and uh, and administration. I would again move to Coca Cola where I was the group head of uh, logistics, housing, distribution, and, and demand planning. And then uh, KRA came on board. Uh, and then I moved to KRA in, uh, in 2017. I would say that I was one very lucky person uh, because uh, upon clearing my college, I think I, I, I got a call. Uh, I made several applications and uh, I think in some two weeks, I'd gotten a, you know, a invitation for interviews in some four companies. If I remember, uh, an airline uh, was one of them. I think a GameStone, GameStone company, uh, a local distributorship for some products, the UK, and then Uchumi Supermarkets. And so I landed on, uh, you know, my first job at Uchumi Supermarkets. My day as an RC starts uh, at around five in the morning. So I would wake up, do my chores in the house. And uh, of course I would be in the office at around quarter to eight. And uh, the first thing which I do is to check the revenue reports for the previous day, which of course is a, it's a, it's a core responsibility, as I said earlier. And then once I'm done with that, I will have a catch up with uh, my secretary just to understand the diary and see what activities are coming up for the day. And then after that, I will, uh, I will have sessions with, uh, with uh, say, the heads of department, maybe one or two, which of course will be guided by the revenue reports. Just look at the status, look at the strategies, the, the activities plan, planned for the day, I review the facilitation to them, whether it's efficient and all that. And so once I clear with heads of departments, I will have an engagement with uh, the head of finance because um, we, we budgets are quite limited and we do a lot of uh, finances rationalization. 
so that every uh, uh, every area within the region is well for you know well, well, well uh, catered for then the next thing would be of course maybe a cup of some coffee to freshen up and then uh, i get into the, the engagements of the day probably some meetings with some stakeholders uh, looking at the county government uh, heads of uh, the national government some meetings here and there the national chamber of commerce in the region Association of Manufacturers once in a while, uh, some traders, you know, uh, the consolidators that we rely on so much at the, at the Everett International Airport. And uh, of course, staff issues. I uh, you know, never fail to have one or two staff issues, you know, issues touching on, uh, you know, performance, uh, discipline. They keep coming up. Yeah, so, and that would be the, you know, the, the, the and all these things don't just happen within, you know, uh, every day is not uh, similar to the other. So we keep changing, you know, it's all it's, it's, uh, interchangeable. Uh, and it would be just like that, morning to evening. And uh, I normally close my, uh, uh, my day between six and seven. And then I would do my own things out there, keeping feet, catching up with friends. Yeah, and then uh, that's it. The rest... My, to my house and looking forward to the next day. Leadership um, as an RC and as myself, as Moses, is very key and I take it very dear and uh, I probably that's why I am where I am today. Uh, there are several things which help me deliver leadership to the teams that I work with, uh, both, you know, at KRA and outside of KRA. Right? One of them being uh, open communication. I like open communication at all times because that helps to create, you know, a back, you know, uh, a cycle, you know, for the, pe I mean, the people I'm communicating to and the people communicate to me. So that the starting point for my way of delivering leadership. I look at, uh, you know, strategic thinking. Again, is an, an important thing. Remember as a regional coordinator, you are representing the, uh, you know, the uh, organization which is KRA in that small segment which is called the, uh, the region. And so I got to be very strategic in my way of guiding my teams into delivering value. Of course, uh, revenue and another, you know, aspect that we are supposed to do. Uh, creativity is another thing. I got to be very creative at all times because, uh, again, remember, the environment for revenue collection is very dynamic. And so there's a need to create, I mean, to, to create uh, th uh, scenarios which will enable carry in the region to penetrate to all those areas. And uh, of course, deliver what you are supposed to deliver, right? Uh, and then of course, being positive is another thing. Um, if I'm not positive and I get drowned into negativity, then of course the region will just crumble. Uh, mentorship again comes in quite handy. As a leader, and I have to mentor staff, you know. Uh, then, of course, recognizing, uh, you know, performance. You know, um, there are those staff members who exceedingly do well, but those who are not performing. So it's about recognizing all these aspects. And then, of course, delegation. So every once in a while, I would be out of the office uh, doing a thing out there, probably in the field, probably in a meeting. And so I delegate. And I've built a team of uh, managers below myself, inclusive of the chief managers, managers and the assistants. So delegation for me is, 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 is a thing which drives my leadership. And we do this so that we can create future leaders. That's my focus. Uh, and it works very well. Uh, then uh, feedback. I provide feedback as a leader, either positive or negative. I also welcome feedback, positive or negative because I draw my strength from uh, correct, correcting gaps, which I made, uh, you know, I'm made aware of. Then of course, if I got the strengths which have been uh, provided in the feedback, I build on them to, to create bigger success. Then lastly, I research. You know, uh, as I said, uh, the areas where we operate in, the environment that we operate in keeps changing every single day. And that, so there's need for research. Try to find out, catch up with the environment, catch up with the communities, catch up with other government institutions and beyond.
there are so many challenges that we face in the region, which I believe they are not unique to the region, but to so many other areas within the country. One of them is, uh, and, uh, and I'll be very particular about security in the region. Uh, earlier in uh, this interview, I said that uh, some four counties in the region uh, are quite uh, uh, volatile, almost all the time. And so for us to continue working, we have to work with the security organs every single day. And we have to get updates. We have to know which areas we cannot venture into. We have which areas are safe for us to get into because business has to continue. Illicit trade is another major challenge. We got uh, lots of diversions of uh, exports, um, cigarettes, uh, petroleum products. Remember, in the region, we have a huge depot, uh, you know, the Kenya Pet uh, uh, Pipeline Company uh, depot in the Netherlands. It supports the whole region in you know, East Africa with the uh, fuel exports. And so we also get diversions for those ones. So, and then of course, uh, we got uh, uh, alcohol illicit alcohol, you know, this contraband, the major challenge. However, how we tackle that um, is, you know, uh, enhancing our activities on surveillance, enforcement, and then, of course, our monitoring systems, which are online, the cargo monitoring uh, systems. Then, of course, uh, uh, enforcing, uh, rather enhancing our multi-agency operations. So that's the only way we can be able to, you know, to, to, to deal with the challenges in the region in respect to illicit trade. There's one thing which worked very well for me, and I keep uh, telling my staff uh, the same. Not just, not just staff, but even out there, yeah? that uh, it's very important that you have to seek to understand the people that you are working with individually, understand their emotions, understand their strengths, their weaknesses, right? So the moment you understand that person, it will be very easy for you to work with them. The biggest mistake, never want to be the other person. Never want to be the other person immediately. It's a journey. And then, of course, within the journey, be positive with yourself. Be at peace with yourself, right? A step at a time, when you fail, seek to be guided on how to recollect yourself and move forward, you know? Uh, uh, what I've seen in the past is that uh, there are some young officers, when they fail, maybe they don't perform. They get frustrated and they lose it. So it's a matter of seeking guidance, mentorship and coaching so that gradually you're able to cover the milestones. Again, I mean, uh, focusing on where you, are, you, you, you define that you, are, you want to be you know, in the passage of time.